Hey YouTube, so we're back to Hill Climb. This is a general idea of what we're, we're going to be doing uh, in this video. So um, we are at Anthracite Outdoor Adventure Area on Trail 2A. So here's a bigger map. It's in the upper part of the map. Um, here's a little close up and you can see Trail 2 up there. Um, that's the, the area we're at. It's at the top of the map. This is a blue guided uh, trail ride with Offroad Consulting. Offroad Consulting is a um, I guess an official guide for the park or whatever and they do these rides about once a month or so and uh, it's about like 30 bucks to get the guide um, to take you around the whole park basically um, maybe it's a little bit less maybe it's a little more I'm not really sure so anyway I'm gonna show you we're gonna get right into this uh, um, footage so this right here is the hill climb and uh, yeah I got out already um, you'll see us come up the the the, um, the trail like in a bit basically near the end of the video if you're considered if you just want to see us um, but these are some other people that are um, with us and I think we have like 18 or 19 Jeeps a day we have quite a few Jeeps and uh, essentially this is a lot of um, really really loose gravel and not everybody actually makes it up the the trail and you'll be surprised um, with who doesn't make it actually So this trail is kind of like a small Renee's Hill, if you know the Renee's Hill Trail. However, um, this trail is very, very short. Renee's Hill would be similar to this trail, but maybe eight or nine times as long. And essentially just a bunch of really loose rocks and really um, loose gravel and uh, some, some big kind of moderately sized um, rocks that are placed in such a way that um, since it's so loose you know if you hit the big rock the wrong way and you lose your momentum then uh, you're not gonna make it up but basically you're gonna have to back down and, and uh, give it another shot and these vehicles here that, you, that are all like you know going up it none of them have um, issues where they don't have big enough tires um, lots of them have lockers, and um, they have lockers engaged and stuff. It's just very, very uh, loose terrain. And the trick with um, most of the time with loose terrain is you have to keep the momentum going. So basically, you have to kind of look and figure out like what route you need to take to, to, to do the entire thing ahead of time. So you have to look way ahead of you. And then when you start going, you don't stop. Like that is a trick, you do not stop. And if you start to slow down, you have to give it more skinny pedal and you have to, to, to try to maintain um, the same speed. And if you start to, to speed up a little bit too fast, you don't hit the brakes. You just do not do that. Um, you just take your foot off the accelerator a little bit. And like that alone will slow you down enough to, to maintain the same speed. Um, because in both cases, you know, if you stop as you're going up, you know, it's going to be extremely difficult, like 10 times as hard <laughs> to get going again without having to back up. And we got stuck actually um, on this, like going up this, and uh, essentially, you know, here's a little spoiler, they had to move some rocks uh, because we were too low to the ground, um, as silly as that sounds. Now this is a good example of comparing like um, blue trails to green trails, and even say black trails to blue trails. The, the the more difficult the trail is, it seems like the more delay there is. So, you know, obviously this one Jeep alone is gonna take three or four minutes to get up this, this little, uh, you know, 100 feet of trail. Well, when you have like 19 Jeeps with you and they all take like a couple minutes, you know, like that's like that's an hour for like 100 feet. That's pretty significant um, of amount of, of delay, obviously. In in an hour on a green guided trail, in comparison, you know, you could go easily like three or four miles. So usually, the more difficult the trails are, the less distance you get on the trails. Like that's just how it is. Um, just because the trails are more treacherous, people are going slower and they're having to talk about obstacles when they um, they want to go over them and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
Now, fortunately, you know, we're not going to be watching all of the jeeps go over this obstacle. We're only going to watch a couple. And the way that all this came about is, um, like, because you're probably wondering, well, where are the rest of the jeeps? Like, if, if I'm filming this, um, essentially what happened was um, we made a turn um, after we went over this um, obstacle. And I um, wanted to make sure that the jeep behind me could see where to go, which is really normal. And that's how you do it, by the way. Like, see how he went up it with it, or he or she, I don't know who was driving, without stopping. Like, that's how you do it. So anyway, we made a turn, basically, and I wanted to make sure that nobody behind me got lost. So I got out and uh, filmed all this. And so you're wondering maybe why am I so far back in the group? Because if you've been watching the earlier videos, I've been like the second Jeep, like in the group. And what happened is we got all mixed up at lunchtime. But after lunch, we knew that we were going to be doing stuff that was a little bit easier. So because of that, like the order didn't really matter so much. So this is the last Jeep with us. And this is actually um, one of the trail guides. Uh, they call him the tail gunner because he um, is at the guide that is at the back of the trail. And uh, he gives a couple shots at it, um, but there's a way to bypass this and to go around the obstacle. And I think he has rear lockers, but I don't think he has front lockers. And uh, essentially after, you know, a couple attempts, he doesn't want to hold the whole group up because he's one of the guides that's here to, to actually guide us. Um, but, you know, it also means you know, that you should have opportunity to, to have a couple shots at it. Um, essentially, you know, right there, what's happening is you see the rock. He keeps hitting that rock, and the rock keeps stopping him from moving forward. And that big rock is essentially like the same type of problem that we had, where we had all the lines right, but then um, a big kind of rock got in the way. So basically what happened is um, he gets told like to just go around it, so he went around it. So here I am going up the, um, the obstacle, and I actually, this is out a little bit out of order. We, we went up this before I filmed that other stuff. Um, but I thought it'd be more interesting that you watch other people go over it so you can see what we're doing. And so it doesn't look so bad, but right here I get hung up and it's basically on the same exact rock that the, the last person got hung up on. Um, or the same exact type of rock. Um, I have the I had the speed and everything, but I don't have the clearance. So this isn't a breakover angle problem like we had on the last video. This is a clearance issue. Um, which, you know, it goes back to tire size and lift size. But essentially, you know, we have the speed and we have the angle and we have the lines, but we keep hitting these rocks. So, you know, what do they do? They move a rock. We move one big rock. And that solves a problem. So here we go. Um, no longer the big rock in the way. And we get right over it, no problem. So if I would have had a little bit of a lift, or if I would have had a little bit bigger tires, um, I would have gotten over that, um, like a lot of the people ahead of me, um, without any kind of problems. So these are the Jeeps ahead of us, and uh, essentially, um, like I was saying, the reason why we got all that footage in the beginning is because I stopped for the people behind me. And so the general rule when you're out here is you always keep track of the person behind you. Don't worry so much about the person in front of you, worry about the person behind you. And as long as you know where the person is behind you, and the, the leader knows where the person is behind them, like nobody would get lost. Um, but, you know, if you pay attention to the person in front of you and not the person behind you, the person behind you and everybody behind them could potentially get lost because, uh, you know, you just ditched them. So we get up here to this turn, um, and it's not obvious at all, so I decided um, when we got up to this turn to just stop to make sure that the people behind me knew to make this turn because that's not obvious there to go left or right. Hey YouTube, so we just did a uh, blue trail. It doesn't really have a number or whatever. It's between two and three. It's like 2A. So it's 2A, okay, well it did have one. It just doesn't have it on the map. So anyway, so 2A, and uh, what we learned was basically we don't have the clearance we had on another Jeep, obviously, like, you know, four inch and 40s versus like uh, stock. So anyway, um, yeah, we're thinking maybe like we need a better breakover angle. So like it's gonna be tires and like a lift or something like that, that combination. At least lift first, if anything. So, yep. Um, but w the good thing is we moved rock. So now like I think we could probably go over it again. Like, and it'd be a lot easier because we moved the big rock that was in the middle <laughs> of the trail. Be. So, but anyway, that's it.